nostalgia is a hell of a drug. And like all drugs, it can be dangerous to become reliant on it. Serious Sam, I think you have a problem and need an intervention. I got trapped under this statue of Uranus. That doesn't look like my- Let's not go there. Sure, 2011 Serious Sam 3 felt like a goofy throwback to a simpler time. But in 2020, Serious Sam 4's brand of non-stop run-and-gun shooting feels downright archaic. It layers on a few new ideas, like dual wielding in the skill tree at least. But while Doom has reinvented itself for modern times, Serious Sam seems to revel in neither moving forward nor backward. It's just kind of strafing to the side. I'm gonna cut you into little pieces. For whatever reason, there's a story that attempts to justify all the weird carnage you'll cause, and it's just as much of a jumble as the battles. We see a series of stiffly animated cutscenes in which Sam Stone and his military buddies fight to overthrow an alien overlord in Europe by finding the Holy Grail. Because why not? <laughs> Sam's voice sounds like he's gargling liquid Duke Nukem as he and his allies rattle off an endless barrage of barely funny one-liners. It's a painting! I can't kill things with art! Every once in a while a decent gag lands, but just as often the script will inexplicably turn completely serious with no punchline to it. Being a leader means having to make tough calls, even if people hate you for it. The actual gameplay boils down to moving from one giant, largely empty arena to the next, each time fighting enemy horde after enemy horde with an arsenal of straightforward, unimaginative weaponry. The only gun that feels like it really has a personality to it is the cannonball. It's an absurdly powerful weapon and fires with different velocities depending on how long you charge up a shot. I will give Serious Sam 4 this much. The sheer variety of monsters you fight is insane in more ways than one. Most of them just run at you and shoot, but a few, mostly the series' reoccurring bad guys, have distinctive behaviors to counter, like charging werebulls or telekinetic witch queens, and those become priority targets. They all make distinctive sounds so you know what's coming before you see it, which is smart because they can teleport into any place at any time. There's certainly some spectacle to seeing a swarm of a hundred enemies bearing down on you, and it gets chaotic quickly. It's all about juggling your guns to select the right tool for each target, whether it's taking out a swarm of small enemies or bringing down a big one. Unlocking the ability to dual wield and hold a different gun in each hand helps a lot with that. You also get some consumable super weapons to break out in case of emergency. Open, okay. The problem is that battles become tedious. You can only reduce so many enemies to red mist before you become numb to it, even as more and more of them flood in. The only other things to do in Serious Sam 4 are a few terribly boring vehicle sequences, and sometimes you get to drive a big stompy mech with unlimited ammo. But by and large, it's just massive brawl after massive brawl, some of which seem to refuse to end. I am certainly not saying it's easy. The sheer amount of enemies meant a lot of these fights took me a few dozen attempts on normal difficulty. Some levels shower you with health and armor pickups, while others are bizarrely stingy with them. And with no way to restore meaningful amounts of health yourself, that left me restarting again and again, basically trying not to get hit at all. Boss fights are actually some of the easier encounters. I never had to try one of those more than a handful of times. But there are lots of side objectives you can take that tell you what reward you'll earn up front, and those can be some of the tougher ones. It's all just… fine. Challenging, absolutely, but uninspired and bland. However, there's one area where failing to get with the times has really burned Serious Sam 4. There's no drop-in co-op. You can go through the campaign with up to four players, but you have to specifically load into a co-op game to do so. Many times I hit a fight that felt insurmountable and wished I could call in a friend to help me through it, but that's not an option. And it's frustrating that co-op is so much easier, simply because you can respawn into the action where you left off, whereas in single player, every death means reloading from a save. That seems really unbalanced. Kenny! One-liner! Uh. Abracadabra, lady! See, you're getting the hang of it, kid! Just like all the previous Serious Sam games, the main idea in Serious Sam 4 is, but what if there were even more enemies? There's not much more to it than that. This style of run-and-gun action is definitely challenging, it's just getting played out. And the returns on the investment of upping the enemy count and adding dual wielding have diminished. The wild variety of bad guys thrown at you is impressive, but there aren't enough interesting weapons to keep the battles from getting dull, and the lack of drop-in co-op is inexcusable in this day and age. For more action, check out our reviews of Spellbreak and Marvel's Avengers. And for everything else, stick with IGN. That's why a crustacean is like a- Damn it, Rodriguez, you interrupted my one-liner!